Hey everybody, happy Friday. It is September 30th, the end of the month, and it's Friday. I hope you guys have had a great week. We are gonna do more Halloween projects today. Um, I had to kind of, um, well, I rearranged some things. I was gonna do the, I'm trying to adjust this, sorry. Um, I was gonna do the, um, or I can't even remember now, the hat, the witch hat bundle this week, but then it was sold out, then it's inventory. I didn't know what to do. <laughs> so I just passed it over and we're doing scary cute. We might do more Halloween next week with that bundle. Um, I have a, a couple of things that I wanted to do with it, but I don't want to show it if it's unorderable. So who knows? We'll see. Um, I hope you guys have had a great week. Um, am I not in the pink bugger stampers group? Am I in the wrong place? Hopefully, let's see, where am I? No, no, I am, I am, I'm, okay, <sighs> scared me. <laughs> There's nothing more terrifying than going live in the wrong place. Um, all of you who are in Florida, please know that I've been praying for you. Um, it's been a hard week down there and we are praying and thinking about you guys for sure. Um, it was my birthday this week and you guys sent some adorable things. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to share with you the cards that I got this week. I got some little gifts too, but I think I'm just going to show you the cards mostly. Um, <laughs> see, if I start reading comments and I like lose my train of thought, I'm so bad about that. Um, okay. So let me just show you some of the beautiful cards I got. This one is from Laura, my downline. Well, my second downline. Um, she lives here in San Antonio. She is a beautiful stamper and she's a great gift giver. You see that little camper right there? She gave me that. Um, and then she gave me a cute little gnome and a, and a, a coffee mug that has a cute gnome on it for my birthday. So thank you, Laura. Um, okay. This one is from, I try to keep the envelope so I don't um, forget who is from, and I still get things mixed up. This is from Brenda. Brenda also sent me a really cool tool, um, for masks that I haven't opened yet, but I'm interested in it. Brenda, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, now this one is gorgeous. This is from my downline, Alessandra. Look at that. Gorgeous. Alessandra is an amazing gift giver too. She always gives me all kinds of amazing things. So she sent me, it's funny, Alessandra too. She decorated kind of the outside of the package and I wasn't home when it came and my daughter texted me a picture of the package and she was like, ooh. So even my daughter was impressed, which that's hard to do. <laughs> but she sent me a bunch of goodies. Alessandra, thank you. And this gorgeous, gorgeous card. This is from my other, another of my downline, Heather. I love that, all the end colors with that uh, little chevron pattern. Um, this one is from Victoria. Um, oh, whoops, I just took that off. I want you guys to see that part, hold on. Um, this is kind of a fun fold card and it's that Splendid Day, is that what it's called? Splendid Day paper. You slide it off, look, and then boop. We've made this card before during Facebook Friday, but it's been a while. Maybe we need to make that again. I love this card. Hi, Elaine, are you guys okay? Elaine lives very close to where that hurricane came in, in the Tampa area. I was very worried about you, Elaine. Hopefully you guys are okay. I guess if you're watching Facebook Friday, you probably are okay. Um, Donna, Donna's a beautiful stamper too. Donna, I really like this card. I really like, I've really started to like just cardstock on cardstock, which is what she's done. Um, a stitched card, a stitched uh, rectangle on the same color card base. And then just, I don't know, it's just beautiful. It's simple, but it's so beautiful. Thank you, Donna. Um, by the way, I've been working on my Million Dollar Stamp Set projects this week, and you'll see a lot of cardstock. Or maybe I should, like that, that side. <laughs> um, beautiful colored cardstock. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is from Tony. This was a really cute card too. A little, we're, we're, I'm going to call him a schnauzer because he looks like a schnauzer. Look at that. I know he's a Scotty, but schnauzer, a schnauzer owners, we're going to call him a schnauzer. Um, Tony, very cute. Very, very cute. That is, that is a very fancy fold. Um, and I just love how you guys send me pink and black and white. Y'all know me. Y'all know me well. Um, this is from another one of my downlines, Christy. This is so beautiful. 
Um, I love that embossing with the music notes in the back. Very pretty, Christy. And you guys stamp on the inside. You're so good. I don't, I hardly ever remember to put white, a piece of white paper inside my card and stamp on it unless it's like a black card base. I don't know. I forget to do that. Um, this is from Yvonne. And Yvonne, um, th this is so cute. She, well, she's thanking me for something. Yvonne, you didn't have to send me a thank you note for that. But this card is so cute. All black and white and that little pumpkin. It reminds me of my little pumpkin right there. See my little Buffalo Chuck pumpkin? Very cute. Then I love this one too. Um, this is from Deborah. Uh, look, it's a pink door with the pumpkins. This is this is like my house. Like I, well, I don't have a pink door, but I would totally have a pink door. Uh, this is that new bundle that they're going to be using tomorrow um, on the World Card Making Day event. Um, and I actually have it to give away as a prize today, too. So thank you very much, Deva. Very, very cute. She stamped on the inside, too. That's a really cute stamp set. I love that stamp set. I keep calling it the wrong thing. It's, I know, shocker, right? Warm Welcome is what it's called. And I keep calling it Welcome Home. <laughs> called warm welcome here's another pink with the black and white christy mathis and this is um a fun fold i think you call that a double z fold card christy this is gorgeous remember those butterflies you guys that paper that was everybody went crazy about and then it sold out gorgeous oh sorry that was bent over gorgeous it was a fun mail week this week you guys <laughs> it was a lot of fun um, my daughter ordered some, well, I, she wanted some stupid bracelets. I don't know that I ordered her like Saturday night and every day she's come home from school. Are my bracelets there? Are my bracelets there? I'm like, no. And then she's irritated that I'm getting stuff in the mail. Like, you know, when you order and it was like a Facebook ad that she ordered it from. So, you know, it's going to take like six weeks. <laughs> um, anyway, Mary Alice, this is from Mary Alice. Beautiful. I don't know what this technique is called, but I love it very cute where you fold the corners back so you can see both um um sides of that that dsp oh this one is a little cute okay this is from kathy kathy you're on here aren't you okay look at the card first i mean there's just so much going on here i love it the pigs the pink balloons the buffalo check so cute but kathy sent me something that you guys it's it's I think my husband, when he saw it, he was a little upset because he knew he couldn't he couldn't buy me anything that would top this that Kathy sent me. Kathy made me some Baylor pumpkins. And um, my daughter is on the way home from college. And she made one for me and one for Ellie. So, Kathy, I am in love. These are my, these are my favorite thing. I love them. Um, she made them. She says she's become obsessed with making them. Well, thank you. I'm glad that I got to... Um, enjoy your obsession because they are so cute my husband was like that's cute and in his mind he's like i can't top that <laughs> um okay thank you let's see this is from Rhonda. um that hippo is so cute so cute Rhonda. thank you Rhonda. oh the inside too it's pop up look see how they pop up you just do like a little fold and then it they pop up like they're dancing it's so cute. We actually, funny story about these. I don't know if you guys can see this, if you've ever made this kind of card. We used to do this when I was teaching. The kids would do, um, we would have like a little pop-out thing and they would have their, whatever they're writing about and then their little writing. So every time I see this, this card, I think about when we were teaching. We always try to come up with really creative ideas for writing because, you know, nobody likes to write. Okay, this card is really, this is the last one I'm gonna show you guys. This one is so funny. Um, well, the card's not funny, but what she wrote is funny. Um, this is from Luann and she says, uh, we're remodeling our home in black and white farmhouse theme. Looks like I don't stray f far from that in my stamping world. And it's so cute I, that my new house is gonna be very black and white farmhouse too, Luann. Very much, so you and I are on the same page. That looks like a little subway tile back there, right? <laughs> I love it. Thank you, guys. You made my week very special. Um, you know, when you get to a certain age, um, you know, birthdays are a little eh, but it was a good one this year. Um, my husband, it was the night before, and it was like 8 o'clock, and he was telling the girls, okay, we got to go to Target. They were like, what? And, uh, but at least he took them, right? <laughs> Whatever, it's fine, it's all fine. Okay, I'm gonna flip you guys around. Um, let's see, I'm gonna my, my 
hands are dirty because I have been coloring today. There we go. I have been coloring away. I've been, this week, week has been busy. I am trying to get projects planned. Um, holiday retreat in a box is coming up. Um, I probably will have details on that next week. I'm teaming up with one of my downline this time and she is so good. She's way far ahead of me. So I've been trying to catch up with that. Um, I also was working on my million dollar stamp set projects because those are due to my person at Stampin' Up! on on Monday. And I think I finished them yesterday and I think you guys are going to like them. I can't wait. Okay, let me tell you about World Car Making Day one more time. Tomorrow is World Car Making World Card Making Day. And I shared the link earlier today. Um, for you guys to register. And then all of you were like, I can't register. It won't let me. Well, oh, it's not working. So I called Stampin' Up! And they said they are having trouble with that registration page. Um, they said to please keep trying. Um, I tried myself to register with a different email and I it wasn't working for me either. But they also said that you don't have to register. You can just watch. But if you register... I know that they're going to be sending out emails with some special offers and stuff afterwards. So keep trying. And if you can't register, I don't want you to feel like you're going to miss out because I think you'll still get to benefit. They have told us there's going to be a special offer announcement made during World Car Making Day. I don't want you guys to miss it. Um, I will be out of town tomorrow. We're going on a little road trip, my mom and my daughter. So I won't be home tomorrow for that. But I have here on Facebook where I posted the little picture that looks like this, I have shared the link, the direct link to the event. So if you can't get registered tomorrow, all you have to do is click on that, that link, okay? And, and you can click on it now and go over there and actually see the event page. It's up, it's got like a countdown on it. Um, so that's tomorrow. You can still order these um, bundles. Ouch, something is poking me in the back. Um, let me show you this one. This is the new one. The Warm Welcome. This one, the Cottage Rose is from Annual, Cottage Reese is from Holiday, and this is from the upcoming Spring Catalog. And if you order any of these between now and tomorrow, right, it says October 1st, you get a free pack of iridescent pearls. Um, so, you know, take them up on the free offer, you guys. All right? Okay, I'm throwing that away because that's the last time I'm gonna tell you about it. Another thing that I, is the last thing I'm gonna tell you about and I actually don't even have all of them over here. These Perfect Partners um, dies. Today's the very last day. They're, I thought maybe they'd extend it, but they haven't said that they're going to, so I'm going to assume that they are not. Um, the Piggy dies, um, the Yeti dies, the Tree dies, the Apple dies. Um, they are going away starting tomorrow or tonight. Usually things change over at 11.50 Mountain Time. So don't wait until 11.51, <laughs> okay? Uh, perfect partners. Um, yeah, Abigail Rose is currently unavailable, is it? Yeah, that one's been out for a while, but that um, that new one is still available. I just ordered several of them today. Um, holiday Retreat, Laurie, I am using, we're gonna be using the little train, Santa's Delivery. We're gonna be using that stamp set for our Holiday Retreat projects. Thank you for asking that. Okay, um, today's the last day to earn the Abigail Rose um, All-Star Tutorial PDF um, as well. Tomorrow starts a new month, which is a new um, All-Star Tutorial PDF. I don't have it yet. The person who's compiling it lives in Australia, and he'll get it to us right now. I think he's sleeping, so he'll get it to us tomorrow sometime. If you are a subscriber, I usually email these out on like 9 a.m., but tomorrow I'm going to be traveling, so it'll come late in the day for you, okay? Um, and then probably won't be in my PDF store till Sunday or Monday, um, but you can earn it for free. If you put in your order today, you get the Abigail Rose PDF. If you get put your order in starting tomorrow and it's over $50, you'll get the um, Rustic Harvest PDF is what the next one is, and here's my project for that, and I will talk to you guys more about that next week, Okay. There's that. Um, these, this Abigail Rose PDF is also available in my PDF store. Um, it's $15. It has 12 video tutorials, okay? Um, designed by 12 different Stampin' Up! demonstrators. Um, I've got some extras of these if anybody needs. If you're, you know, if like 
I don't know, your account wasn't charged, whatever that happens sometimes, please let me know. Um, they're so cute. They're um, really, really cute. The, this is October, no, no, this is September Paper Pumpkin. October Paper Pumpkin subscription period is open and it'll be Christmas. So you don't wanna miss that. Make sure you subscribe, okay? Um, my class to go for October is the Kindest Gnomes. Registration is open for this. It's six cards. Um, I sent out the link in an email earlier in the week um, and there is a blog post about it, but you have to send me an email for the actual registration link. That's um, a Stampin' Up! policy. So um, if you need that link, just shoot me an email um, or check the back side of this PDF that is at pinkbuckaroo.com today. Have you guys checked is the blog post up? Um, Rosemary, no, you do not have to use PayPal. No, are you talking about, um, are you talking about my PDF store? Um, I have set up so that it can be credit card or PayPal. Um, Gail, I have not started registration for the holiday retreat. It'll be um, late next week at the earliest. And I will send an email and I will give you guys a heads up before I'll post on Facebook about it, okay? Okay, so here's the PDF at pinkbuckaroo.com. And um, here are the links for these things that you'll need. Kindest gnomes, so cute. And then we've got Club Create. Um, here is, we've got one week left for Club Create. I have a couple of spots open for Club Create. So if you've been wanting to join, please send me an email and I can send you the info on that. This month we're making a little box set of cards um, featuring the Sweet Gingerbread Bundle. Next week, hopefully, I will have the next set to show you, which will be the Sweetest Christmas. Is that what it's called? Can the Candy Canes, I think. I need to double check. The, we have a lot of things that are on low inventory right now, and it scares me um, to choose something. I can't remember. Is that on low inventory? I think it's not, but I don't know. I still got to check, um, but I will let you guys know, okay? Okay, um, prize winner for last week, Julie O'Neill is the winner. Oh, here it is, Sweet Candy Canes. <laughs> this is the bundle I was talking about. Um, <coughs> sweet Candy Canes. Um, Julie, I think I have your mailing address, right? I have a lot of Julie's. So Julie, email me, message me, just to make sure, okay? Thanks for sharing my video, Julie. Um, I wanna make sure it goes to the right place. You guys, if you ever change your mailing address, don't assume that I know, even if you changed it on your Stampin' Up! account or on your PayPal account, because I have an address book that I work off of, and a lot of times I don't stop and verify every single address. So if you've moved, send me an email, let me know, okay? All right, this week's um, this week's prize is the warm welcome bundle. If you'd like to win this, all you have to do is share the video here on Facebook or on YouTube, and I'll pick a winner next Friday. Do you guys want to see more Halloween next Friday, or are you ready to move on? Because I feel like I could do one more week of Halloween. We've got one more Halloween stamp set. Let me know what you think. Um, so Facebook Friday. Welcome. If you're new, um, Facebook Friday is every Friday at two o'clock central. I pick one product and this week it is the scary cute. Uh oh, I just dropped a die. Hold on. It's the scary cute bundle. And I usually don't, if I do a class with a bundle, then I usually don't use it for Facebook Friday, but this time I did because I love this one so much. Um, We'll do three projects today featuring the Scary Cute Bundle. If you like the projects and you want me to send them to you for free, all you have to do is, um, <laughs> I'm reading y'all's comments. Oh no, we're gonna get in a fight. Halloween, no Halloween, move on. Oh no, now I'm not gonna know what to do. I'm gonna have to start a poll. Um, I have a really cute project to show you guys next week, but it uses the witch's hat, so I don't know. You might miss it if you guys don't wanna do Halloween, but I get it. We'll see. Okay, I'm see. I'm, I'm. Y'all just tell me, and I'll go back and I'll count it up, and we'll see. Um. So, if you would like today's projects for free, I will send them to you if you put in an online order between now and Monday at midnight. You have to use this host code, and the minimum order has to be thirty five dollars. And then I send you. They look like this. They come. They have everything you need. You will need the stamps and the dies. Um, these stamps and these dies. Everything else will be done for you. 
Um, no stamping. I don't do any stamping. I send you a little thank you tag. That's it. But you'll have to have the stamps and these dies to create your projects. Um, the other thing I don't do is emboss, like with embossing folders. But we're not doing any of that this week, okay? Halloween, Halloween, whatever do. Oh, thank you. More Halloween. Maybe I should do a mix of Halloween and... You know, like things that could be mm, altered. Now y'all are like throwing down a challenge for me. We'll have to see. Okay, let's get started. Let me pull out. Why do I always put what I need first on the bottom? Why do I do that? Hold on, hold on. Let me get organized. Okay. I have... We made one of these, I made one of these a long time ago. And I think it was for, I don't know what it was for. I couldn't find it on my blog. I don't know, maybe it was a class. But this is a, a door hanger. Where you guys live, do you do, do you boo each other? You've been booed. When I was teaching school, is the first time that I was introduced to this fun little tradition. Um, you pick somebody and you make them a little treat package and you leave it on their door and you run away. Um, it, at school, we would put it in each other's mailboxes or leave it on each other's desk and whatever. But here in our neighborhood, we do it too. And the kids freaking love it. They love it. Um, even the big kids. And I have had um, adult, I've seen adults treat each other too with like beer, you know, like fun, like pumpkin beer and stuff. So that's what I designed this to be. It hangs on a door. It's not too terribly big. You can fill it with whatever you want. Okay. So that's what we're going to make first. Now here, let me ask you guys this. If you're going to write on here, you've been booed. How do you spell booed? Is it B O O apostrophe D? Is it B-O-O-E-D? Let me, where are my English scholars at? Tell me what you think. Because I, I think I know. We're not, we're not putting that on this project, but if you're going to, if you're going to write a little note for the person you give it to, you're going to need to know how to spell that. B-O-O apostrophe D or B-O-O-E-D. Boo. You've been booed. Let me see. Okay, apostrophe. Judy. Judy is a teacher. She would know. And see, Susan says E-D. Hmm. I don't know. I, I don't know. I think it's apostrophe. But let me tell you, also, I am the world's worst speller. So I wouldn't trust me at all. <laughs> okay. Now, for this project, you're going to need... Um, Judy, you work in a school, so you are a scholar. You are a scholar. <laughs> um, you're going to need 12 by 12 cardstock for this. Um, we sell, finally, after a long, many years of not having 12 by 12, we have packages of 12 by 12 black cardstock. This is great for scrapbookers. Um, so now we can make it kind of big, right? Um, the measurements are right here on the PDF, okay? You're going to score one side. They're, it's, they're the same, so it doesn't matter which side at three, five and three fourths, eight and three fourths, and 11 and a half, okay? And then turn it and score the other side at five and nine, I've got my stupid markers on here, nine and a fourth. I don't wanna take them off because then I lose them. Um, if you didn't hear all those and you didn't write it down, don't worry, you can just go print off that PDF, okay? Now, bone folder. It's right here. And then, you know, I'm going to get my good scissors, too. Hold on. Um, where are my good scissors? Hmm. Oh, here they are. My only pair of scissors that aren't too totally gunky. Okay. So, you have, like, the small section, middle section, larger section. This is the bottom, okay? This is going to be your top. So the first thing I want you to do is come over on this little half inch edge and we're gonna cut off the half inch right here, the half inch tab down here on the bottom. Now, cut apart these like this, okay? Now, over here, we're going to cut all of this off except for that one right there. 
All right, so actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Um, so that I make sure that it's straight. Mac, why are you in here? He always knows I can go in and get into the trash when she's talking because she won't know. She can't, she can't tell me anything. All right, we're gonna cut this whole top section off except for the last one. Now, I have to focus because yesterday when I did it, I cut the whole thing off. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna go like that. This this way, it'll be straight. Because if I use my scissors to cut all the way across from there, it's not gonna be straight. And then like that. All right, so see, that's what we did. And then you've got a lot of black left over to do whatever. Kathy, no power there. Um, Kathy, you're in South Carolina, right? Is it, is it, What's it like? It's not going to be as bad, right? But it's still a hurricane. Oh, you guys. Um, okay, the last thing you need to do is snip and snip. I've told you guys that I am a weather nerd. I love weather. And so this week I have just been glued to the television. And um, we have had, we have lots of friends who live in the Florida area. I've known a lot, a lot of people out of downline. We, my mom's best friend when I was growing up, who's like, who was like a second mom to me, she lives right there in that area that got hit really hard. So it's been, whew, even all the way over here, I've been very worried about it. All right, burnish all your lines. Now we, before we put this whole thing together, we've got to cut that circle. Um, if you have a um, circle punch, you could use that, but I'm going to use our circle dies, okay? But what I'm going to do first is take my tear and tape and put it right here on this tab, and we're going to adhere this part. That way we can kind of fold it in half and get it to fit down into our machine, all right? So fold like that. I don't know what that is right there. Okay, so now this is what it looks like for right now. I'm going to bring over my cut and emboss machine. And I am using the biggest, I don't know if it's the biggest, definitely the biggest scallop circle is what we're using. And then we're using the one right under that. I feel like there's a bigger circle than, than that. So whatever it is, it's going to just barely fit. Okay, now get it so that it's going to fit in your machine. Get it centered. And run it through. Okay. All right. Now we're not done with this cut and emboss machine, but we're done for right now. Now, all you have to do, and I think for the sake of the video, well, we'll just use Tombow. I'm gonna start by folding in the back first, all right? And then I'm just gonna put Tombow on the sides. Fold them in, and last but not least, our front flap. Okay, there you go. So there's your box. Um, we're using Gingham Cottage Designer Series paper. This box is four and a fourth tall, three inches wide, and two and three fourths deep. Okay, so you're going to need to cut your pieces accordingly. Um, those measurements are there on um, the PDF. I think I'm almost out of adhesive. Let's see how far I can get. And I love the orange and black for Halloween because I don't think you could really use orange and black for anything else <laughs> except Halloween. So use it up for your Halloween projects. I don't know, do any schools have orange and black as their colors? Probably not. All right, so we've got that. Okay, we're gonna set that aside. We're gonna do some inking. Um, let's see where my grid paper is. Well, let's see. Hold please. <laughs> okay, now, come on Facebook, show me comments. Orange Park High, did they really Lisa? Wow. That, I mean, that would be fun to have Halloween colors all year. Uh, at least to me, it would be. All right, we're going to ink this. See this right here? 
we're going to do like a little sunset, okay? I'm going to start with Daffodil Delight. And I'm starting with a piece of white that is bigger than my label. Because that way if I make any kind of little mistake or a fingerprint or whatever, I have a little bit of wiggle room. You know, I can kind of move the die up or down or over or whatever. All right, and then we'll get pumpkin pie. And I'm gonna turn that around. And you know, I saw somebody today doing something really cool. They have a, one of their little blocks. Let me get that, because I thought that was a really smart idea. Now I can't remember who it was. Of course, your blocks have to be clean to do this. She was using her block to hold her paper like that, because that's usually when I get fingerprints on it. Of course, if your block is dirty, <laughs> like mine usually are, um, make sure when you put your um, your brush down, you start on your grid paper so that you don't leave any like hard, you know, like that on your paper because that would be upsetting. Oh, I'm glad you guys are checking in, those of you in Florida. Um, oh, Kathy says orange and black Glen Fairies, Idaho. Huh, great. Wow, okay. All right, a lot of orange and black. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so now we've got that. Um, we're going to get... How can my table already be a mess? We just started, and I already can't find things. All right. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. We're gonna take this die right here, the larger label. We're gonna cut that out, okay? So move that over. We're gonna take um, this piece of white right here and we're gonna stamp the sentiment. And actually, I think my original is Orchid Oasis because we're gonna use Orchid Oasis to cut out those bats, which I don't see sitting here. Hmm. Where did it go? Okay, we're going to use a little stitch banner for that. We're going to, oh yes, this is the fun part. Okay, so this die um, has this nesting die in it um, that can cut out this little intricate um, kind of like a spooky scene. So I'm going to take my um, adhesive sheet. Oh, don't use your good scissors for the adhesive. And I'm going to cover the back. And I'm gonna leave a little split in it. That way, it'll give me a place to take my fingernail and peel that paper off. Because you know, when you cover the whole thing, sometimes it's hard to find a starting point. All right, so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this die, which, let's get all the little things out this die and we're gonna cut out the inside and then you have to use the other die to cut out the outside shape. All right, so last, no, second to last thing we're gonna cut is our little, this is the circle we cut the circle in the back and then we'll take our scallop and cut a frame like that, okay? Now, let me grab, so I know, I know where that paper is, right here, I used it for the witch's hat, see? And I took it off, that's why it's not where it's supposed to be. And we're gonna cut some bats out of this. This is the Orchid Oasis Glimmer Paper from the In Color Glimmer Paper Pack. All right, we're not gonna be able to fit all of this at once, so let's just do a little bit at a time. Pumpkin pie, scallop, circle, frame. And then we'll cut this one. We'll put that there. And then this one, this kind of reminds me of candy corn, right there. Now you need to center this so that we can, hopefully that's not too small for this frame to go around. That looks awfully small. We'll see. All right, hold your breath. And throw. So Ellie is on her way home from Baylor. She hasn't been home since the first weekend in September. What was that? It was a long time ago. You know, when your school's only three hours away, you can come home a lot. And that feels like a lot, like she's been gone a long time. So she's excited to be coming home. And then we're going to go tomorrow with my mom to a place 
that has market days called, it's called Wimberley, Texas. All my local Texas people will know they have the best market days. And then there's also a little nursery up there that has the best pumpkins. So it's going to be a fun day. I'm very excited. Now save this. Okay. We're not using it now, but you could use it for something else for sure. All right. We'll put this right here. What are you guys doing this weekend? I know what you Florida people are doing. <laughs> Cleaning up. I know. I'm sorry. Um, but what's everybody else doing? Let me know. Let us know. Are you doing anything fun? And I just knocked that darn thing off. Let's, let's get these set up and then we'll come back again. I made this paper way too small. So we don't have any wiggle room now for this. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, hold your breath. Clean up, Pam. How are things there with you? You might have said earlier and I didn't see. Been worried about you too. Been really worried about you guys. All right, so that makes our little frame. See how you use both the inside and the outside. Um, Canton, uh, yes, Kayleen, I've been to Canton. That's um, like farther. I feel like Canton, I'd have to spend the night. Maybe not, I don't know, it feels really far. And Round Top too. Um, those, are, those are far from here. But Wimberley's like an hour and 15 minutes, maybe an hour and a half. So, you know, like a day trip. All right, we're gonna take, um, no, Elaine, you got so lucky. I was the most worried about you because I knew how close you were to that, to that bay. Um, I really was very worried. Oh, let's do this on the back. I was very, very concerned. My mom's friend um, who lives down in Inglewood lives in a community similar to yours where there's like canals and, the, and then the, the bay is just right there. Yeah, and that's, whew. Raining in Virginia, dude. Gosh, and just wrecking havoc for like a week. Goodness. Okay, before I put this on, we have to do our stamping. Um, and we're gonna stamp, we're gonna use the Stamparatus for this because I want it to be nice and dark 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 black because it's supposed to be a silhouette and I'm afraid if I stamp it once and it's not perfect then I can't do anything about it but if I use my stamparatus you know sometimes it like it doesn't stamp full strength all over so you need to stamp it again an hour and 15 minutes in Southern California can be just going to oh my gosh Trisha that's horrible <laughs> now I will say here here same okay so like my husband works about 20 miles from here and it, sometimes it takes him that long too um but but not always but i know southern california your traffic is the worst all right so we're going to stamp it again i'm using stays on to make it nice and dark dark black all right so now we've got that let's peel this off Peel this off like this and it's time to get my nails done. They're like coming apart. I hate taking the time to go do that. Do you guys, those of you who get your nails done, oh, do you hate it? I hate it. I don't want to sit there and do that. I have other things I want to do. All right, we're ready to put it all together. We're going to take this and we're going to take, this is a white, um, stitched scallop rectangle. Um, I'm trying to see, did Pam answer? I wanted to see how she is. <sighs> Fridge and freezer food for our meals on wheels. Elaine, you're, you've got food for meals on wheels. Is that what you're saying? That's awesome. All right. Basic white stitched rectangle fits perfect right there. Then we're going to take this one, this little candy cane, I mean candy cane, candy corn looking sunset. 
You love getting your nails done, Judy. It forces you to relax and say, you know what I can't stand is that, you know, that thing that they do. If you have dip, they, and I don't know if they do it for the other things, but they take that drill and they like that. Oh my God, it's like nails on a chalkboard and I cannot relax. I can't relax. I wish I could. All right, and then this guy is gonna go right down here like that. Now, for our little sparkly bats. Oh, you have to throw it all away. Oh no, Elaine, Elaine, how long have you guys been without electricity? Is it back? Do you have it? I can't remember what you said. You know, we went four days with no electricity and no water in the winter of 2020. Winter of 2021. With the big Texas, you know, snowstorm. And it was awful. And I will say that I would rather have, if I had to choose between water and electricity, I would choose water every time. Because having no water, no running water, is way, way worse than no electricity. That's just my opinion. But, uh, you know, you can get warm or cool off, whatever, without electricity. You could, you know, batteries, whatever. But water, running water, is very hard. Very hard to do without. We're, we live in a very blessed country, don't we? Where, where that's just like an expectation. To have running water. All right, this is that wire met, not wire mesh, uh, metallic. It's not wire, it's like gauze, really. Little mesh here. Boop. And there it is. Fill it up with some Kit Kats and some Snickers and some, um, oh, well, the best one is the Reese's peanut butter cups. Um, I also found on Amazon, the little circus, you know, the little iced circus cookies, they had um, Halloween ones, and I ordered them um, to use for something, and there's only like four in a package. It was like 30 calories. So <laughs> you can eat, you know, a couple of packages and still be okay, you know. I know. I, this is the worst time of the year for me with all this candy around it is I, I have zero self-control. It's awful. Okay, so there you go. You can use that to boo your neighbors, your coworkers, um, or even your kids, you know? Leave it on your kid's door. Um, and you know, also I was thinking yesterday, this doesn't necessarily have to be Halloween. Change the colors. You could do it for Valentine's Day. You could do it for Easter. You could do it for whatever. It's just a fun little door hanger. All right, so you guys like that? It's easy. It's not hard at all. Okay, so there's that. Let's make the next one. The next one is even easier. Now, I love a good treat box. I love to design treat boxes. I love to make treat boxes. But if I have to make a bunch of something, I want the easy button. I'm not gonna lie. I want the easy button. So we're gonna use these new envelope treat boxes to make these little treats, okay? So they look like this. They come in a package. I think maybe there's 10 in a package. I think they're 80 cents each. I think that's what I had determined. Now, there's two different things to, to see here, okay? My friend, Cindy, who works for Stampin' Up! posted a project um, doing this to this box a few weeks ago. She used orange, and I loved it. Um, and I wanted to use um, Gorgeous Grape. And so, I started it and we don't have Gorgeous Grape Stampin' Blends. We only have Gorgeous Grape Stampin' Right marker. Well, this marker smears really easily. I mean, you have to be so good to get it to not smear. And I'm not that good. If you look at mine, it's all smeared. So I was like, okay, we're not gonna do that. That's why this has two colors. This one has the Highland Heather. Okay, all Highland Heather, and that's what we're gonna do. We have other purples you could use too, but I recommend you use Stampin' Blends um, because they're not gonna smear. Now they will smear, but not as not as easily. The other one's just, it didn't dry very fast. So, all right, so you're gonna just take your, um, your um, ruler, straight edge. Do not try to be perfect on this, okay? Because then you're gonna hate it, you're not gonna be able to do it because you're not gonna be able to be perfect. Nobody's gonna care how straight your lines are. Oops, look, I just smeared, I went the wrong way. 
Okay, let's do that again. Go down with your ruler. Okay, if you go down away from the ink, it gives it time to dry. Because this, these are alcohol markers. They don't take very long to dry. The other markers are not alcohol markers and it takes a lot longer, okay? But if you immediately go over it like I did, then it's gonna smear. If you give it 10 seconds, it'll be dry. All right, so I'm not measuring, I'm just eyeballing it, okay? And then flip it like this and just keep going. These are food safe, They're, they have like a wax, waxy coating on the inside. Um, but I'm gonna show you what I found that fits perfectly in here for Halloween. All right, one more right there, okay? Now turn it and let's do this direction. And you could, you know, you could do like orange and black, you could do purple and green, you could do whatever, whatever colors you want. Um, the brush, I'm using the brush end here, which is gonna give you a much fatter line than the bullet end, which is what I used on that other one. Okay, if it's fatter, you can kind of put, put them further apart. You don't have to do so many. Okay, let's turn it one more time. And keep going. And mm, I think we need one more right there. Done. Okay? Easy. Now, take your um your take your pick tool and you can just peel off these little adhesive things like that. But let's burnish it first. Isn't that cute? Again, any holiday. It's an easy way to decorate these. That, adhe that um, marker is gonna be wet there on the back of that adhesive, so be careful not to get it on your fingers and then get it on your project. All right, so now this is super easy to put together. Oh my gosh. All you do is you fold these flaps in like this and up like that, and then you just push them into the sides like that, okay, like that. And there's your box. Now, I found these, these are new, um, ghoulish green, I haven't opened them. There's Snickers, Twix, and M&Ms, but the Twix, two Twix fit in here perfectly. And we're gonna use the Snickers in the next project, okay? And then the M&Ms, you just eat those, okay? You just take care of those, don't worry about giving those away. <laughs> All right, now here, you have to be careful when you latch this because it you can tear it. Um, so be careful when you do that, okay? And then that's it. I mean, easy. Now, I have a piece of lemon. Nope, nope, not lemon lime twist. That color is long gone. We don't have that color anymore. <laughs> this is Parakeet Party. And I'm gonna stamp the little boo all over just to make it a little more fun. Okay, turn your stamp, turn your paper as you go, making just your own little patterned paper. There we go, okay. This is a belly band, and a belly band is just gonna slide off. So we're gonna fold it around, and I'm just gonna pinch the edges to match the edges of the box. And then I'm gonna take my adhesive and fold it over itself like that, okay? And then you can just, you know, slide the whole thing off. Now we've got, I got a brand new bolt of this in UPS came today. Let's see if I can get it open. This is the hardest thing for me to do. I don't know why I struggle with this. There we go. All right, well, maybe not. There we go. All right, so lemon, no, gosh, I did it again. Parakeet party. It's parakeet party. I'm gonna wrap this around a couple of times like that. 
tie it on the side. Okay, like that. And then I'm gonna just try to separate these a little bit. There we go. And then we'll snip and snip. All right, now we're gonna stamp the little cute, he's like a, um, a uh, Frankenstein. He's so cute, little Frankenstein and stays on. Terry, everybody struggles opening that ribbon. I know, it drives me crazy when I have to do ribbon shares. Ugh, having to open all those ribbons is the worst part. You know, I don't know, it's just one of those things. Okay, now I gotta clean this because we're gonna stamp this boo again. And we're gonna use white embossing powder on gorgeous grape. Use your embossing buddy. And then um, Craft White, which my ink pad is very messy. And my ink settles in the corner, so I have to make sure I get it. Oop, that feels kind of too juicy. Okay, let's see how we do. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now close that. Sprinkle on some embossing powder. And let's close that so we don't have a disaster. And bring over your heat tool and give it about 20 seconds. Well, maybe not even 20 seconds. I put too much of my embossing buddy on there. I made it <laughs> chalky. I always do that. I pound it on there and then I makes it chalky. All right, so you'll know when it turns, when it's kind of slick looking and bright white. Let's see if I can get some of that um, powder off. I don't know what I was doing, gosh. Super heavy hand. I guess it doesn't matter because we're punching it out. And you won't be able to see it. When you do that on black paper, it makes it look like a chalkboard, which I love. Oh, it is still looking chalky. <sighs> Look, <laughs> it's very choggy, but whatever. We're going with it. Whatever. Um, whoever I give this to is not going to care. They're just going to rip into it looking for what's inside. All right, a couple of dimensionals. A black scalloped rectangle. That's from the contour scallop dies. And I stamped him on a stitched um, basic white circle that is from our stylish shape dies. And then let's see if I can locate a many dimensional for our boo. And we'll put that right there. And then last but not least, we've got some purple glossy accents. Glossy dots assortments is the official name. Let's see if I can get this off. Come on, do your job. You have one job, do it. Let's make it in a nice little ball there. Okay, no, no, okay, whatever. It's not working today. <laughs> one of those days. All right, and there you go, you're done. Now look how different these look. This is the one that had the gorgeous grape where I was smearing it all over the place. This is the bullet end of um, Highland Heather, and this is the fat end, the brush end of Highland Heather, which I like better. And it's cute. And it has Twix inside with green something. <laughs> you know, like Frankenstein. Um, this punch, by the way, is called, I can never remember the name, Best Label Punch, and it is a really good one. Sometimes you just need a little, like a little frame, and that one is perfect. I like it. Okay, we've got one more left. Let me get a drink. Let me get my last box. 
and we will get done. Let's see if I can beat Ellie. She's supposed to be home any minute. Let's see if I can get this done. Probably not. She's going to walk in. The dog is going to bark. Everybody, just prepare your dogs and cats because my dogs are going to start barking. Okay, this time we're going to use that great label right here to make a box that looks like it's shaped like that label. Um, it's not, but it looks like it is. Oh, and you know what? I screwed up a piece of paper yesterday and I didn't grab another one. So hold on just one second. I think I remember the size. Yep, five and a half by four and three fourths. We're gonna do, you need two of these. And this box opens like this. See how the top just comes off like that? Almost kind of like a little tombstone. Four and three fourths by five and a half. The first one, you're gonna score on all four sides at one and a half, all right? Now, um, the second one is gonna be the lid and we want it to be just a little bit bigger. So I've got a stack of post-its. This is like eight post-its. I'm gonna stick on the side. This only works on your Simply Scored and only works when you're scoring the exact same on all four sides. Um, if you put this shim here, this is gonna put like a, like a 16th of an inch um, size difference for you. Maybe not even that, maybe 30, one thirty second. It's very small. One and a half, one and a half, one and a half. All right, now the, the key is to remember which one is the bigger one. So let's do that one first. Um, I lost the bone folder, here it is. Uh, before we do that, I'm gonna put some little notches in the short side so it makes it easier to pull the box part. And this is just a one inch punch. We don't sell them anymore, but I'm sure most of you have a circle punch. Any circle punch will work. All right, burnish those lines. Take your scissors, cut off the corners from score line to score line. Ellie had car trouble this week up in Waco. And she this is the first time she's been away where we had to actually take care of something like that. So I've been a little bit worried about her driving home, but I haven't heard from her, so I'm guessing everything is okay. All right, snip those score lines on the short side. Like that, okay? So that's what your box looks like. Now take your Tombow or adhesive of choice. And you're gonna just, it kind of folds up like that last box. It goes in, and the sides come up. And then grab some little clothespins like that and like that. Hey, you guys did Facebook change on y'all yesterday? Was it yesterday or night day before? Did it like change all of a sudden on the app? I was having trouble with it and I, don't, I couldn't see anything but business pages. It was very strange, but then it was okay. I don't know. I don't know if it was something I did or if it was something Facebook did, I don't know. All right, here's the second one. You're gonna do exactly the same way, except leave those little finger notches off. Okay, you're gonna snip. And snip. Like that, okay. Has it been? Okay, you guys, Betty, you saw it too, huh? It was weird. It was very weird. And it was, like, made me mad. <laughs> I'm like, okay, step away from Facebook, Erica. Calm down. How am I gonna know what, where my friends are eating dinner? <laughs> if I can't see their posts, how am I gonna know these things? You know, the things that don't really matter. All right, all right. Now, we're gonna let that dry. Oh, that one's weird. Like that, we're gonna set that aside, okay? I need to bring my grid paper back again. One more time, I don't like looking at that, that's ugly. Let's get a new sheet. 
for the video. I don't waste paper when it's just me. Believe me, I use it until it is like gross, but I can't stand on a video when it's all. Ugh. Okay, so you've cut two of these from basic gray. We're gonna use this little textured stamp right here from Oceanfront. And we're gonna, I'm just gonna do one. I'm not gonna worry about the backside. I'm gonna stamp this around the edges. But notice I'm stamping off each time first so that I have, you know, it's lighter. It's not too dark. Oh, I forgot to stamp off. <laughs> That's okay. Now take your bats and we're going to do them in full strength. Kind of turn them so that they're all flying different directions. All right, so there's that, got that. Um, we're gonna stamp the sentiment and pumpkin pie. And I've already cut out my stitched rectangle, so let's everybody, fingers crossed, let's see if I can get it straight. Look at that, like a professional. All right, <laughs> now, We've also got, um, we're gonna cut out a bat, but we're gonna do, we did this last week, we're gonna take some of this washi and cover a piece of black so we can cut out a bat. And we're gonna cut out the um, little haunted house also from black. All right. Now, before we do that, let me grab my, um, this is what we used earlier, the Daffodil Delight, and a one inch Daffodil Delight circle. I'm just gonna add some ink to the edges, kind of make it darker on one side, like that, okay? There's our little moon. Cut and emboss machine, come back. Um, oh, really? It updated and proceeded to... Okay, you guys... Are, yes, Pam says Facebook did. Okay, good. Were you on your business name page? You know what? I don't know, Judy. Okay, here. I'll tell you what happened. I was getting in the car, and I put my phone under my chin to hold it, you know, because I was using my hands for something else. And then I got in the car and whatever, bubbled up. My husband was driving. And then I went to look at Facebook, and it was open already to, to Facebook. So I don't know if when I held it under my chin, <laughs> if I accidentally, like, clicked a setting or something. You know, like, you, there's all these weird buttons at the bottom that I don't ever use. I don't know if that's what it was. Or if it just happened to do that at that moment. <laughs> I don't know. It was probably me and my chin. I don't know why it was still on. It was weird. Okay, now we're gonna do one more thing to this haunted house. I want it to have um, like it's glowing, right? Like there are lights on. And so you can just use cardstock, but I like the texture of this paper. This is the Tea Boutique paper. And so I'm gonna take my glue and kind of run it around those windows. And I'm gonna stick this on behind here like that. Okay, wiggle it so that you can only see it through the window. This is like a half inch strip. Cut it off and then add a little bit more glue right there. And then put this one right there. And then you've got glowing windows. All right, now we're ready to put it all together. Let's bring back our boxes and put our kick, I mean our Snickers in. We could maybe get one more in there. And this is just gonna slide down. The first time is the hardest and then it just knows what to do. All right, see how your fingers, it leaves your finger so you can slide it. All right, so let's go on the back and this one. Now the back little box fits perfectly right in that area. 
but because we made the top just a hair's bit bigger, you can guess it's just a hair's bit bigger than, see it just sticks out just a tiny bit right there. That was poor planning on my part. I should have started with a smaller size, but whatever. Okay, so there's your box, all right? And so then you just put it together. Now, as you guys know, I did a class to go using the Scary Cute bundle. And the PDF is still available. The class is already shipped, but the PDF is still available. And there are five other projects in there using the Scary Cute bundle. They're all treats. So if you're looking, if you got the Scary Cute bundle and you're looking for more ideas, that is available in my PDF store. I'll show you the projects here in just a second. All right, and then we're gonna put our glittery bat. Actually, let's put the ribbon on because the bat will fall off when I do that. Black and white gingham, never gets old, never gets old. I wish we had this in different colors and different widths. It's my favorite. And tie that on the side like that. Snip, snip. Now we'll put our little bat flying over the moon. Come on. There we go. My glue is getting to the end. It's like I'm tired. And there we have it. Okay, so now you guys have three treats to make with your Scary Cute Bundle. Okay, now before you go, hold on, let me show you the ones that are in the PDF because I have two others and this is different. This box is different than that box. It does something totally different. And then this one is more of like a basket. Um, and then this one is a, a box. We used a little cat with purple eyes. And then there's this bigger fry box in there. And then sour cream container too. So if you're looking for more ideas, that's what's in the PDF, okay? Just so you know that it's out there. Now I had a swap card, I thought. Yeah, okay, here's a beautiful swap card. I love this one from Julie Beltramo. Look at it, using this. Isn't that adorable? She stamped on the inside. I think that's gorgeous. So if you're looking for a card idea, do you guys send Halloween cards? I think some of you have told me before that you do. Very, very pretty. Okay, so we made three things today. If you would like them as a make and take kit for free, I'll be happy to send them to you. Um, all you have to do is put in an online order between now and Monday at midnight, um, over $35 using that host code. Um, if your order is over $150, do not use the host code because you'll get free stamping rewards and I'll still send you the projects. Don't forget about World Card Making Day tomorrow. If you can't get registered, I would recommend getting registered. Keep trying to get registered um, because then they will email you like the recording or whatever um, and details on special offers that are coming. Um, but if you don't get registered, that doesn't mean you can't participate. Okay? It's not a requirement to register. You can still watch. Um, and I posted both of those links here on Facebook just a little while ago. So scroll down and find them. And um, I won't be around tomorrow um, if you need help. But I think Stampin' Up! over there on that link, they have a help, a help techno technology help person that you can reach out to. Okay, you guys have a great weekend. I will see you next Friday. I don't know what we're going to do. Maybe Halloween, maybe not. You'll just have to show up and find out. Thanks for joining me, you guys. Have a great one. Bye.